Bismillah, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. And Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Muhammad. Oh Allah, please and peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad. Now in this sitting today, we're going to speak about an important topic. It is the virtues of remembering Allah, the most gracious. Now what is meant by virtues of remembering Allah? It's simple, you know. Allah created us to worship Him. Allah says in His book, وَمَا خَلَقَتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبَدُونَ Verily, I have not created jinns and the human being except that they should worship me. Now, when we look at this verse, we can see the significance of making our whole life for the sake of Allah. Now, the virtues. Virtues are the good things of remembering Allah Azawajal. Dhikr in Allah, every time you move, when you sleep, whenever you eat, you say Bismillah. So the virtues, the beauties of remembering your Lord. When you remember Allah, many things will happen. Allah will bless you and Allah will mention your name amongst others that are more important than the ones that you have mentioned his name to. Now let's go through some of the verses of the Qur'an that speaks about the importance of remembering your Lord, Allah Azawajal. Allah Azawajal says in this Qur'an, Therefore, remember me, and I will remember you. Be grateful to me, and never be in gratitude. And this is in Baqarah. Allah also says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu thkuru allaha dhikran kathira. O oh, oh, you who believe, remember Allah and remember Allah with much remembrance. Now if you look at this verse, O oh, you who believe, remember Allah with much remembrance. With much remembrance, meaning Remembering Allah a lot throughout your life. Allah didn't just say, remember me. There's a significant point in this ayah. Remember me a lot. Much remembrance. Is your life in this order? Or are you remembering your Lord a lot of much remembrance? Or are you the person that when you walk on the road, you say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. It's easier now. The Prophet وسلم, said in a hadith, Kalimatain, khafifatain ala lisan, thaqilatain fil mizan. Words, two words that are easy for the tongue to pronounce. Heavy in the scale of reward. Subhanallah, subhanallah, wa bihamdi, subhanallah azim. Look, words that are easy to say. Subhanallah, wa bihamdi, subhanallah azim. Look, Try. It's easy to say. And also, saying something which is even easier. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Oh Allah, I repent to you. Oh Allah, I repent to you. As believers in Allah Azawajal and followers of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, we should try always to mend our life in according to the way of the Quran and the Sunnah. We should try to make that change, make our life totally for Allah, remembering Him as much as possible. Instead of just sitting on the WhatsApp or Path or Instagram, following and unfollowing people, reading unnecessary information that will not be beneficial to you in this life nor in the year after, I would recommend to you remembering Allah, subhanAllah. Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. It's easy, you know. It's very easy. You just have to make the intention for Allah. Then you have to do it the way of the Sunnah and work and strive to follow Prophet Sallallahu way. Now let's go to another ayah of the Quran. Allah says, 
اذ والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات عبد الله لهم مغفرة واجر عظيما and the man and the woman who remembers Allah frequently now look at this frequently remembering his lord frequently not just saying subhanallah and then stopping and moving on no doing it over and over remember Allah so Allah Zawajal can remember you and further on and the man and the woman who remembers Allah frequently frequently Allah has prepared for them forgiveness and a great reward what more do you need what more do you need in this dunya what more do you need in this worldly life what more do you need in this corrupt world the reward from your Lord tranquility after you remember Allah isn't the worshipping on the remembering of Allah put the heart at peace doesn't it look try to make the change today try to start remembering your Lord the Most High as frequently as you can you will be benefiting you will have a change of life you will have that tranquility that you ought mostly desire and of course you'll be rewarded in this life and in the hereafter and it's narrated from the Prophet ﷺ that he used to ask Allah for his forgiveness about 70 times in a sitting 70 times and he's just by saying Astaghfirullah, 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 Astaghfirullah is that difficult? Is that difficult for you to remember your Lord? The Prophet ﷺ said, The one who remembers his Lord and the one who does not remember his Lord is like the living and the dead. Now look at the comparison that the Prophet ﷺ, the person who is remembering Allah by saying, SubhanAllah, Walhamdulillah, Astaghfirullah, is like the living. And the one who does not remember his Lord is like the dead. Now, which one of these are you from? Are you the one that's remembering your Lord greatly, frequently, of much remembrance? Or you're from the other side? Give an account. Think about it. You're just here for a short period of time. 80 years, 70 years, then you die. Your kids will then come after you. Try to make the best of your time. Try to invest in Islam so that Islam will raise your status in this life and in the hereafter. The Prophet said, also said in another hadith, Shall I not inform you what is the best of all actions, the best, best of all works? The purest of them in the sight of your Lord, Allah Azawajal, the, lowest, the lofty of them, from your station, what's better than spending gold and silver? Of course, in charity. What's better than meeting your enemies and you slaying them and they slay you? Is remembering Allah. Look at that. Look at the importance, the significance, and the weight of remembering Allah. Azawajal. The Prophet ﷺ made a comparison with all these five aspects and remembering Allah is more significant than them in this stage we can see that many people are spending in the sake of Allah with their wealth gold silver their dollars and sometimes you'll find the poor person unable to spend that amount of money what he can do he can just remember Allah say astaghfirullah alhamdulillah Allah akbar that's in his means Allah doesn't bear you anything that's more than what you can bear. So we should try. Implement Islam on a minutely basis, a daily basis. Try to make the change. Try to make the change now. Try to make the change today. Remember your Lord so he can remember you. There's another narration of the hadith of the Prophet on one, from one of the companions where he said, O Prophet Muhammad, 
the sanctions of Islam is numerous for me. Meaning, the legislation that Islam has stated is a law for him, and he's unable to catch up with all of them. So what the Prophet ﷺ advised him to do, remember Allah. Remember Allah. If you cannot do everything that Islam states, do what is easy for you to do. Make sure you do the compulsory events. Make sure at least. And then you do the remembrance of Allah by saying SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, Allah Akbar. And there's another hadith of the Prophet ﷺ where he said, Always make your tongue moist by remembering your Lord. Remembering your Lord. La ilaha illallah. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Subhanallah al -azim. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Subhanallah al -azim. It's easy. Try to make the change. Try to make the investment. Try to worship your Lord. Now that's the reason you are here on earth. To worship Him. Try to make the change again. Try to be God-fearing. Try to increase your remembrance of Allah, the Most High. Now, I hope what I've said is beneficial to you and feel free to add any comments below this clip. Please tune in for another sitting on important aspects of Islam which affects the Muslims on a general basis. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.